in a constituency, well, the, the large parts um, constructed, but from Ajekwejo leading up to Santor, very bad, poor nature. We just had a letter from uh, a constituent who was raising key issues. Myself, I'm a constituent, so um, I solidarize with that letter as well. But there's a story we'll pick from Obichibi Lamte Circle. Um, we want to speak to the broader, bigger uh, picture. And this one was filed by Chris Yali. The stored Obechebilamte interchange project has created frustration and inconvenience for road users. Potholes, dust, and clogged waters are visible everywhere around the construction site. The road keeps getting poorer whenever it rains. The $135 million project could not meet the March 2023 completion timeline due to financial constraints that compelled the constructor to abandon the site. So it's been several months now that work has been suspended on this flyover that comes all the way from Seko and takes you straight to Kualebu, Choko and adjoining communities. The road was better until the construction work started. It becomes messy these days when it rains. One can spend hours in traffic. Sometimes it takes the police to save the situation. We also work are feel unnecessarily. Construction works on phase two of the project were expected to resume in May 2023. The roads minister, Kwesia Mwakwata, in April assured the project is not abandoned. In its current state, some drivers are only worried about their safety as the area is gradually becoming an avenue for robbery in the night. I assume it gets dark in the night, so robbers take advantage to harass drivers and pedestrians. Some traders who spoke on condition of anonymity said their sales have dwindled. Upon completion of the project, heavy traffic at one of Accra's hotspots will be reduced. This will lessen congestion at the intersection of Ring Road West and Winneba Graphic Road. Christian Yale, TV3 News. Obechebilamte Interchange, Accra. Mm. And I know that there was a, a whole document that was published <laughs> when the finance minister appeared before the House for the budget. And uh, I even have a copy of that doc document as well. Um, it really um, compiles all routes that um, have been or are being undertaken by uh, the government of Nana Danko Kufuado. And uh, you take a look at uh, some, so, and I see that um, Mr. Sakasali here is going through some of them. Is there a bit there? Yeah, there Okay, so how do you react to the stall project? It's a big concern for residents, etc., who use it. It's part of the ongoing project in this big, nicely compiled book. This one is, is a white book, because they said the NDC has green book. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. The money yeah. put in printing this book could have paid uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for a contractor. Well, thank, thank so you. there's a whole document. This one was, was given yeah, to yeah. members of parliament. Yeah, yeah it was. But on the one Yes. Okay, so speak to this. Uh, why is that we have the thing? Why, is we, why do we have the rule stalling here, even though other projects are on or some? Oh, yeah, thank you very much. I, I, I can understand the concerns of some Ghanaians. First of all, I mean, if you have a government, like this particular government, another Dunkwa Kufadu government, that have performed so well when it comes to road infrastructure. And to the extent that if you look at this document that I'm holding, mm. this, this nationwide, mm. all the regions, every district has a share of road. Mm -hmm. Every constituency has a share of road. Right. And if you look at the road networks before this government came to power, for instance, the Kofor government took it from 36,000 to 36,000 to 70. Mm -hmm. uh, Kofu, uh, Mills and Mahama took it from 70 to, to somewhere 75, 78. This government has taken it up to 98,000, uh, 94,000 kilometers. Okay. So you could see that if you combine all other governments, or if you compare all other governments to this government, 
mm. in terms of road infrastructure, you know, a, 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 a regrabbing, maintenance of roads and all those things, if we put all of them together, this government has outperformed every other uh, uh, government. Okay. That, is, that is a fact. Nobody can challenge that. The documents is there. If you go to Ministry of Rules, you'll get all those documents. Mm. It is something that is unchallengeable. Now, the problem as to why is it that some other areas have, you stalled. Know, have stalled, others have, have, have not stalled and all that. I mean, you could see that, for, as we are speaking, a lot of the rules that people are saying have stalled. I mean, you could, owing to maybe financial problems, you know, coming from, you all know, I mean, the, the, the challenges that we have in terms of, you know, our finances and all that, and especially some of the rules that, you know, were being sponsored by our external, you know, uh, 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 partners, partners and, and all that. So one can say that some of those roads stall and all that. But as we are speaking, mm -hmm. all those roads have started. Which ones? All of Tetequashi. them. Yes, you see. That the question is fine. Uh, yes. We have the ones that have been called Pukwa, say all complete. Yes. But uh, this one is it's just here. You know the place. Yeah, I know, I know. Obi Chibi. Yeah, after, the, the Obichibi, Obichibi. after cycle. Yes. So some, let me, uh, uh, if you go to spin, uh, uh, the flyover. Easily go on the flyover and all Some that. sections have you, stopped. You see what is happening there. I mean, it's as if we want to do it and then finish and finish even before uh, uh, the year ends. The vigorous nature with which all those roads are going. But it cannot, I cannot sit down here and say that, oh, maybe all the roads will take that same vigor. There could be reasons why some of the roads have started. Others will start tomorrow because look, I mean, if you go to some of the constituencies, the Kaku North areas and all that, some of them even started like some of them stalled mm -hmm. and they have restarted. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I, I can understand if you look at the the the, uh, the, the uh, Obichabi mm. area because of the, the the work that is ongoing and all that part of the road and then the traffic mm -hmm. that it 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 comes with. I can see. I mean, I can. I can experience. Me myself, I've, I've been on, the, on that road before. I can, I can experience the inconveniences and all that. But the contractors would be on site. I'm sure even by now, as we are speaking, by the time we finish, you will see them there. So <laughs> it's not as if it's not as if uh, 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 all of a sudden. I didn't hear that one. Please say that. Again. I am seeing mm -hmm. a lot of these rules, especially those that may be. Uh, the contractors, for reasons, one reason or the other, have 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 stopped. A lot of them are going back mm. because of the financial situation. Now, okay. the financial situation is getting better and better. So we're stalling because so of IMF. Or? Some of them, I'm saying that some of them, mm. but a lot of those rules, like I'm saying, if if you look at all this, the interchanges that we did, the Swami one, for instance, I mean, it has started. The the contractors have gone back. Uh, quite, quite, if you go to even Shadbuche, some areas the contractors had stopped now, all of them are coming back. I mean, almost everywhere. So you cannot use one particular place that maybe work have stalled mm. for temporary for some time and use that one as a case, a, 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 a case study to generalize oh, the, but, the, the whole country. But the chairman but, of the MPP in Ashanti region even said if the government doesn't come. Uh, Come back on site and continue. So, the government have come, back, have, have come back on site. Yeah, I'm saying that they saw me, the, swam the, <laughs> the rules, the interchange, all and all those things. Yeah. They've, they've, they, they, the contractors have gone back on site. They are, they are doing it. If you go to uh, uh, almost everywhere, including the north, where I come from, mm -hmm. a lot of the rules that were stalled have, have, have resumed. And, and the most important aspect of this whole thing is that this is a document. And if you look at the rules that were started, a lot of them have completed, okay. including the Eastern Corridor rules that uh, our, our the, the, uh, Mr. Mahama had, had, had taunted in the past that never saw the, 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 the light of day. If you go there today and see the work that this government has done, I mean, nobody will come and sit here and say that, oh, we, we, we have finished all the rules that need to be, to be finished. A lot of rules still are in deplorable uh, conditions, especially those that were badly constructed. Now, when it rains, almost invariably, everywhere, if you look at what is happening, you know, 
but the government is doing so it. So you experience the bad roads. Yesterday. Yeah, I mean, the, you, some areas. Okay. But it doesn't mean that the government is not doing its best in terms of who and who have done uh, a better when it comes to road infrastructure. I don't think that any government in the history of this country can compare itself to what Nana the Dunkakufado government is doing. If they challenge me, the book is here. Book no lie. Mm -hmm. They can bring their green book. We have the pictures. Everything. You also have the white book. We 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 have the, the you know the white book. You know white is better than any other color because so God Himself is white. Okay. So if they challenge, we will challenge using our our records. All right. Just, just a minute with that. You want to have the yes, book? Yes, I Can I give it to him? Yes. Oh, yeah, I mean, give it He's to him. He's of the position. Give, give it to him. Can I give it to him? First of all, I want us to have a very credible discussion so we appear fair to whoever is watching us. All in sundry. I want the interchanges. Very good. This. And this page what? This is page nine. Mm. Of 231. Of the book? Yes. Mm. Interchanges they claim to have constructed. Mm. One, Pokwasi interchange. Two, Obechebilamte phase one. Three, East Legon underpass. Four, Suhum interchange. I can go on and on. Roland. Can we have Saka and I want to have our book back? It, right, I'll give it back to him. That, that, that's page nine. Page nine. Before, no, the, the soft copy is available. It's available. I mean, it's a public document. So this, these are the ones Before that are completed. Man there are several and, and God. That is yet to, to be completed. All these projects I have mentioned, who do they belong to? Who started them? I don't understand. It's for Ghana. Who secured funding for them? Okay. Whose achievements are they? That is the first question I want us to establish. Apart from all those achievements of the NDC, they have shamelessly printed in their book. What do you mean by shamelessly? Go through all the pages. All you see there is pothole filling, pothole renovation, road upgrading. Go, go through the entire document, 230-something pages. You waste all these pages on telling us the number of potholes you have filled in this country. You waste 200 and something pages in telling, look, I can confidently tell you that the cost of printing all these reckless books and sharing around <laughs> could have given one contractor mobilization <laughs> into completing one kilometer of road in this country. So the cost of I, doing this all these was, reckless books. This, 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 this one was printed the, the, and shared the, to Parliament. I remember I was there when the finance is, is he an MP? How much, the, was, hasn't he how much one here? is the green book? They, the green they book printed was. this, all these pages of telling us potholes you have been filling. Then those boys who fill potholes Which on our streets can equally do this. Which potholes? They can equally print books like this. The money that was used in printing this reckless, shameless book, where you only take the achievements of the NDC onto the first page and the rest of it says nothing, what? would have provided mobilization for a contractor to build. Look, um, the people of this country are drawing their conclusions from three major points. One, your manifesto promises on infrastructure and roads. Two, your budgetary allocations on infrastructure and roads. Three, your monetary inflows into this country. So all the people of this country are asking is that before we voted for you, you promised to give us concrete roads. Dr. Baumia, where are the concrete roads? They should show me one kilometer of concrete roads that have been constructed in this country. That was their manifesto promise. Two, before we voted for you, you promised to construct an interchange at Swame. You promised to construct a, a flyover at Oforikrom. You promised to construct an interchange at Santase. The people of the Ashanti region are asking you, show us a kilometer of work that has been commenced on all these 2016, not 2020. 2016 promises you gave to us. Ah, but there were a number of works also done. I, 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 the I'm, Kumewu, I'm coming. I, 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 Kumewu, the, even the grader moved with the convoy out of Kumewu. Oh. I was there. I saw it with my eyes. It's now, let me go through their budget. And then I come to the budgetary allocations. And you see how wicked and reckless this government can be. In 2017, in their own budget, they admitted that the Suhum and Sawam Apeja Kwafukurum Road 
was 87 percent complete in 2017. Take note, 2017, and Sawam Apega Kwafokrum Road, 87 percent complete. As a result of recklessness on their side, the 2022 budget, a road that was 87 percent complete, reduced to being 39 percent complete. Go through the budgets. 87 percent complete in 2017. It's now 39% complete in 2022. You know why? They refuse to continue projects that had been started. They refuse to complete projects that were near completion. And Saka thinks that we should come and sit here, you carry a, a manifesto or a whatever book it is around. And then when you sit here, you start showing us pictures. Pictures of what? Of potholes you've been filling. Is this the face one. Is 35 million dollars. Was constructed is, by is, President Mahama. I beg your pardon. Can you control your pardon? Was, con was, was gotten by President Mahama. 35 from the HFBS Bank from the UK. But this is and the contract was awarded to Kure Suarez. We completed of it. Of Brazil. Of Brazil. In fact, it's, it was even registered in the UK. We completed that. Phase one was completed because it was a project of President Mahama. Then I've started Tai 2. Which one? That is from the north to south. Of the Obeche Bilamte interchange till date. Till date, they have finally abandoned works, they have left sight, and I feel sad every day for the people who have to stay in longer hours of traffic. All because, look, these days, I, I get scared anytime I see the MPP start a road. Because I know they are going to sweep, swipe the road off and they are going to leave us in traffic. Because they won't complete it. That is exactly what your reporter reported to us. They have abandoned the road. They have left it all because they claim there's no funding. And Kure Suarez have left. Look, the Boko, Bolga Boko Pumakom Road. The, the okay? Funding. I said for phase one, it was completed because but we secured we, funding. We, phase we two, went, that you started, and then, and then you have been unable to complete it. This the is the kind of recklessness. And the people so of this country sit down. And then all they ask themselves is, this is a man who has gotten 600 billion of borrowed funds, and he cannot show us any meaningful road. Look, in 2020, go to the 2020 budget. You will see a number of inner city roads that were enumerated. One is the Agbogba Abokobi Road. After its construction, less than six months, the road has been washed off because of some shady work, because of some deception that they did all because they wanted to win an election. Look, the roads of this country are not getting better. And I know that anybody who access President Akufado for a road, he will insult you. An example is the Fijal Kwabri East. When the youth asked him to come and complete their roads and construct it, what did he tell them? Again, lack of emotional intelligence. He got angry, fled up, called their bluff, told them to go into the streets and construct it if they could do it. This is a man we have given 600 million to. This is a man, monies have been allocated from GMPC through to the Ghana Infrastructural Fund. This is a man who has more than enough to construct yeah. our roads and yet has decided to desert. And when you ask him, all they do is to insult you. I believe that this country has been put in a mess. This country has been ditched and things are not going to get any better uh, anytime soon. I, I think that there is a much more work to be done. Why? Because as many people were listening, a friend of mine from Bosome Fenu. 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 Just said that, well, it's a constituency that the president is excited about. But if they were listening to Saka this morning, they would be very agitated. Why? Because of that the last time they actually saw what he called black soil, and I know you understand what it means, black soil, bitumen, yeah. was under ah. President Kufour's regime. For you to come and sit here and say that every constituency has had a share. Yeah. But still, a lot still needs to can be I, done. Can I? Can yeah. I? Every constituency has yeah, had a share of roads. Of roads. It's to insult them. You mean and the constituency based on the feedback you're yes. getting? The other one. Just go and take Nalerugu to uh, uh, Nakpanduri, and you will see how terrible that stretch is. If you move around, and 
You know, it's the kind of rules that we are even putting up. Somewhere August 2020, mm -hmm. August, October 2020, the road from Highway Junction to into Lakeside mm. was asphalted. For evidence sake, tomorrow morning I'll come and stand there. Through <laughs> Ted Gates? Or... Yes. And then you will see... Going to the, the Zoom line head office? No. Highway Junction into Lakeside. Okay. Condemned. The road is more than one village, one dam. But just ahead, they've constructed another road leading from, before you get into the Jospon head office. I'm saying that when you get to Highway Junction, you just turn left. You are entering Lakeside. If you go and see, I'm just talking about something that is less than three years old. Something that is less than three years old has now become a one village, one dam. So you don't understand. On Saturday, a day after the Green Ghana project, I went all the way to Otiekrom, Shalom. And that road, which was almost completed by 2016, they filled the road. It was left for bitumen to be done. The chiefs are very angry. So the people of Maira, Otiekrom, Dedema are mobilizing. Of where? In the Ganwes Ga Ga into the eastern region. Wow. It's terrible. Even in Accra. I'm talking about Accra. Is it not because of this that they send people to go and arrest Francis Xavier Sosu? You recall? Because he went to join his people to complain about the paucity of road development in their area. And so it doesn't make sense. Look. 2020, before the elections, President Akufado went to the Obichebe Lamte interchange and declared that the road has been completed. No, 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 no. The first phase. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Completion of the first phase. Yeah, 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 yeah. This so one, I'm going to suck here. Is Which one is the second phase? So the second ah. phase is what they are doing. Us. Do you know the first phase so, that they so, are talking so, about? Mm, from graphic uh, Taiwan. Role. Do you know the first phase they are talking about? The first phase is not even 20% of the road. Yeah, not Taiwan. So you just did a flyover. And there are three times. You did a flyover into, from graphic. It didn't even get into Kaneshio. Just immediately before the traffic light, where the Metro Mass Transit Office is. What happened? You terminated it there. You went there with fanfare. Today... But it was election year. What were you expecting? Oh, okay. And so President Akufado did election with that road. But but apart from the top, Shh. apart from Shh. the top, <laughs> please wrap up for me. I have. I give apart you from the road, mm. that that portion. What else has happened? <clears throat> Nothing. We are talking about Pokwasi interchange. Go and see what is going on now. How can you claim that you have done Pokwasi interchange? You just did a circle. No, no, no. They've done the tears. That's what I'm saying. You just did that thing. It's a fourth year. You just did that thing. No, the road is also ongoing. Will you be tolerant? I please, said the road is please, ongoing. Don't for take, the attitude, don't take the attitude of President Akufado. Oh, please. please. Of being don't, intolerant. Please, please, please. Of being intolerant. Please, please. So don't take I, it. I no, don't, road don't take it. Then I have to wrap up. So, so if you go and look, look. There are many things that are not done. And I feel very, very sad that we will come with a voluminous book of this content when you know that all that you have captured here is actually what is even killing majority of the contractors. Because most of them did the contract in the hope that government will pay. Mm. You awarded them contracts. They have finished their jobs. They've executed their jobs. They claim they Three, are now owed 16 billion or something. Six, 17 billion. Now 17. I'm happy. I'm happy you said they have worked. They, have, they understand. They have, done, they have done, done what they are supposed to do. Their monies are locked up. You don't have money. from years back. You have not the paid time. their monies. And you are sitting here showing that you have mm. a book. Just one this area is a book of debt. And they are using... I'm, I'm, it's, I'm it's, happy it's, you it's, accepted it's disastrous. that they have went. And you uh, know your people who are contractors <laughs> who have not been paid. Yeah, you see, refuse to... Can you say that? Okay, no, Malik, no, Malik, no, 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 Malik Basintale no, 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 no. is a deputy communication officer of the NDC. 
Bernard, please, please. Open to page 191 of your book. 191, this is a quick one. 191, open to page 191. So, Maliba Sentale is a deputy communication officer. He was sitting Bernard Muna, thank you for coming. He was sitting here and then lying. What's that 191? Open to page 191 and go to your last... Sola, Sola, Gando, Jeguru. What's wrong? It's Gando, it hasn't been done. They said one, one, one what? Even if Akufa do, you say one what? Uh, you say one what? Completed here. Uh. You ask God to punish whoever. Why? You mean who, you, go, you got a message that it's not been completed? I, I, I know the you, you, you got a message Gando, from where? Gando, Jeguru Road. If Akufa, which region is that? Savannah. If President Akufa do goes there to see the state of the road, and has been indicated here that. When was the last time he went on the road? Oh, he would ask God. To I said, what was the last time? Oh, no, you are not making are any sense. We are taking a break. You are not saying anything. We are taking a break. Let me just say anything. Let me just read a couple of your messages. You are not saying anything. Um, so what you are doing? That Anthony Gingong advised you this morning, and you are still doing what he said you should not. Okay, so so I have this one from uh, Don Carlos, who says, yesterday the member of Parliament for Ashaman constituency had cause to engage and tour and and tour the constituency of Ashaman with the media to expose the bad nature of roads in the constituency. And that's from Don Carlo, Carlos from Ashaiman. And then uh, this one was, uh, I'm watching New Day currently. This is the road from Third Gate to Medina Aviation on the race road. Physically challenge person portholes. <laughs> I took this picture this morning. And he says he doesn't want to mention his name. And then um, this one is coming from Sam Awingo Bit. Says that um, my brother, Tell Saka to come to Ashaman uh, and areas adjoining Tema and areas in Tema community 22. The road is all terrible. Yeah, and then we, we have a couple of we them. Are missing, we well, and then also um, we have many of them. Now we are taking a break. When we come back, we'll have more for you. We're also putting a special focus on some roads in the Ashanti region. Ibrahim Abubakar did a comprehensive report on roads based on promises by the roads minister in the Ashanti region that apparently yeah, from now the their roads should have been well ongoing or restarted by now after they were halted or stalled for some time we want to engage with you open the phone lines and then we'll do all that after the sports stay with us okay.